Uh, hello everyone. So I'm going to present the recent development on Clarion Standard Information System. Uh, first, I will give some background uh, about the system and also the data presented by SIS. And then we will take a look at the system. So SIS is a website built on XML technologies um, hosted at the Institute for Deutsches Sprache uh, in Mannheim. We use XQuery, XML, XSD, HTML, and also JavaScript to develop the system. And we use Exist database to store the data and also to run the system. This is developed and maintained by Clarion Standards Committee or CSE. My colleague Piotr is a member of the CSE who gives a lot of contributions to the content of the SIS and its functionalities. Two other colleagues, Antonina Wertmann and Mike Sternberg have also work on the website before. The main objective of SIS is to present recommendations of human language technology standards and formats used within Clarion, especially for data deposition. So users that would like to deposit data at the Clarion Center would know which standards and formats they should use. The codes and data are, of SIS are published at GitHub. Feel free to take a look at the repository at this link uh, if you are interested. So it is actually not an easy task to prepare and publish Clarion recommendations. There are many challenges we have encountered during the process. First, we need to collect standardized uh, formats for data deposition at Clarion centers. And it is quite, actually quite time consuming because uh, we need to look at uh, each website of the center uh, for and search for relevant information. And not all centers actually provide this information. Uh, because of various ways uh, the standards and formats are used in all kinds of human language technology research, it's also complicated to formulate a recommendation scheme. So we categorize uh, the recommendations into some number of domains and it also define levels of recommendations. And another issue is how to maintain the recommendations. Through this, we want we would like to provide easy ways and encourage that Clarion centers uh, to submit and update the recommendation by themselves. Uh, the CSC have uh, the Clarion Standard Committee have made a few releases of Clarion recommendations, which can be seen uh, at this link. I'm just going to show the recommendation uh, 0 0.1. So we used to have a huge spreadsheet listing standards and formats with their MIME types, extensions, and also categories or domains. And we have uh, Clarion centers as columns here. Oops. And if a center use a, a format, we mark it with a value one, like this uh, Slovenian this SE is uh, Clarion, uh, so the Sylvanian Clarion SE Language Technology Center. It uses WAVE as an audio format. And the last column, rec the recommendation column, it shows the number of centers using the corresponding, corresponding format. The spreadsheet is hard to maintain on only a few as members contributed to the spreadsheet. And it's also not very easy to read. So uh, we develop uh, recommendations over the year. And this is the recent uh, recommendation uh, files, uh, which have been exported from the SIS. I will show later how we can export these files from SIS. The first, uh, the left screenshot shows a complete list of recommendations of all centers. For each format, we have ID, format ID, uh, center, domain, and recommendation level. So we have three recommendation level, uh, acceptable, recommended, or discouraged. And the right uh, recommendation is um, a recommendation for of a specific center, for instance, EDS here, uh, specified at the, as, as a filter. So if a center representative would like to update 
recommendation recommendation of his center, he can export this file from SIS and submit a change to the SIS GitHub repository. So now we are going to look at the, the website. Um, so this is the homepage of the SIS. Now we have a nice tech cloud of standards here. And here is the menu on the left. We have the send a list of centers. If you, oh yeah, uh, and then also the statuses of the center. If you click on the center, we can see some information about the center and the formats that the centers use and their recommendation. And then if we go to the format recommendations, we have a full list of all the formats. Uh, used in all our centers, including the domains and the level, and also some information here, some notes about the recommendation. Um, we can also filter it by center, for example, I just say EDS and search, and then you get only the formats for IDS. And then we can also filter it more with audio audio with domain here, audiovisual annotation, and then it will show only the formats for audiovisual annotation and also by recommendation level, only the recommended one. And then you can export this table by clicking at this export, and then you can download it and open it. So the filter shows are still here and then this is only a concise information about the formats oops yes go back and then you can go to research so reset here and then it will show again the whole table and we can also download the whole table uh, by clicking here so it will give give us a list of all the formats and uh, used in all Clarin centers. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and we can click also here to see uh, descriptions about the formats. So yeah, the media types, file extensions, and which uh, centers uses this um, format, some descriptions and keywords. And yeah, here is more uh, it's the list of the formats as well. We, we try to be transparent about our data. So we list here uh, the formats that don't have description descriptions. And if you click on it, you can you will be directed to uh, our GitHub repository where users can uh, submit an issue about the, the, the missing uh, um, format description and in the list as well then you can also click on this plus button it goes to this this uh, link as well so uh, and there are also some some format decorations uh, that that is described as a description files but then don't are not referenced by any recommendations so in total we have 94 formats that have been described in this um, here we have also a list of all the domains and the media types and also the formats that use these media types and the statistics. So we have 17 domains, 60 media types and over 400 uh, recommendations are of the formats are recommended and so on. Okay. Uh, we also have descriptions about uh, standards. These are all the standards that have been described and we have a nice graph here that, that uh, presents the, the relation between the standards and we can click on this standards to see the information about the standards. 
and also the relation to the other standards. Uh, we have the standard decision bodies, information about the standard decision bodies and which standards uh, they have. For example, ISO here, all the ISO standards. And um, we have also topics uh, of the standards. And we have also a search function. So for example, we search for Alto and then it will find the standards. Um, yeah, you can contact me uh, or Piotr for any information about uh, or question about the website or also directly go to GitHub and create an issue there. And yeah, I think we are coming to an end to my presentation. Thank you for your attention.